Hi guys. Um, I'm, I thought I'd get away with this without the glasses. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> That's what the glasses are made for. Hey, I can see. <laughs> Hooray! Should have gotten these years ago. Anyway, in 1995, the winter of 1995, I met an extraordinary woman named Carol Ann Duffy. And, uh, we used to sit around with uh, a bunch of other poets, all of whom are now OBs and CBs. And they were all a bunch of rebels then. And now look at them all now. If they only could have imagined what they'd amount to. But she was one of them. And now she's a poet laureate in England for a 10 year term. And so many of her poems are on the uh, on the curriculum for schools, which is a, a huge honor and uh, a way of having a, a huge impact on the nation's youth. But anyway, I, I heard this poem by her and it not only knocked my socks off, but made me want to be a writer almost more than any other poem. and I'm going to read it for you. It's called Warming Her Pearls. Warming Her Pearls. Next to my own skin, her pearls. My mistress bids me wear them, warm them, until evening when I'll brush her hair. At six, I place them round her cool, white throat. All day, I think of her, resting in the yellow room, contemplating silk or taffeta. Which gown tonight? She fans herself while I work willingly, my slow heat entering each pearl. Slack on my neck, her rope. She's beautiful. I dream about her in my attic bed. Picture her dancing with tall men, puzzled by my faint, persistent scent beneath her French perfume, her milky stones. I dust her shoulders with a rabbit's foot, watch the soft blush seep through her skin like an indolent sigh. In her looking glass, my red lips part as though I want to speak. Full moon, her carriage brings her home. I see her every movement in my head, undressing taking off her jewels, her slim hand reaching for the case, slipping naked into bed, the way she always does. And I lie here awake, knowing the pearls are cooling even now, in the room where my mistress sleeps. All night, I feel their absence and I burn. Carol Ann Duffy.